Hello, hello, my name is Sofia and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled Are Orphaned Ukrainian Children Being Flown to Russia to be Adopted? Published on September 17, 2022. Introduction. Occasionally, you will come across some video online that catches your attention and suddenly you want to know more about it. It happened today, September 17, 2022, as I spotted a Reddit post sharing a one-minute video claiming to depict orphan children being taken from Ukraine to Russia for their own good. I have previously investigated and written a report on the forced deportation of Ukrainian civilians to Russia, so this is something that I was definitely interested in checking out. The video. Below is the screenshot of the video posted to the Ukraine subreddit on September 17, 2022. In case the post gets deleted, I have an archived version, but as of yet, it's still not deleted and here it is on the Ukraine subreddit. You can still see the video. I will not play it because they have faces of minors I have censored on the blog post, but obviously they are not censored in the video. The footage started with a clip of an airplane with the Russian flag allegedly carrying dozens of Ukrainian children. Based on their size and appearance, I would say that their ages range between 5 and 12 years of age. The footage showed them being escorted out of the airplane accompanied by a few adults. The video then panned to a woman, this one here, who claimed that 120 children have arrived on the territory of Moscow. She added that the group would be spread out to 13 regions of Russia and there were already plans for a next batch of children. So here it is, the screenshot of the Reddit post. Questions. After watching the video, I was interested in finding out the answer to a few questions. Was this footage recent? Were the children really Ukrainian? Were they really orphans? Were they really being taken to Russia? Basically, I just wanted to know if the post caption and information on the video were reliable. For that, we only need to use search engines. Searching for an image. The first thing I noticed was a logo at the top right of the video. This indicated that it probably came from a news agency, so we might be able to find it. I took a screenshot of the logo and did an image reverse search. I always go with the top three search engines, Yandex, Google and Bing. The results are always vastly different and if one does not catch it, the other one usually does. Yandex was, as expected, the best one as it is a Russian search engine. On the search results seen below, you can immediately spot the iz.ru. So you see, there's a few highlighted here, iz.ru. This tells us that it is a Russian website and since we already have the web address, we can just write it on the address bar and check it out. Going to iz.ru confirmed that this was indeed the correct website as the logo and color scheme was everywhere. So I can show you this is an archive version from the 17th September 2022 of the website, you can see here the same logo and the color scheme. So this was clearly where the video came from. Now I just needed to find a story about Ukrainian orphans being taken to Russia. I don't like wasting time scrolling around the website, especially as I cannot read Russian and I do not know if this was even a recent footage. The video could be anywhere within the website, so let's target our search. Searching in a website. We know that we're looking for Ukrainian children being taken to Russia and we know where we're looking for it on the iz.ru website. We also know that the website is, as expected, written in Russian. So let's quickly jump to Google Translate. I like to keep it simple, so I translated what I knew from the video. I went with Ukrainian orphans, airplane, Moscow. I always separate keywords slash key phrases in different lines so that Google does not attempt to translate it as a complete sentence and mess it up. The result of the translation can be seen below. I did not want to search for these words, so this one's here, as it would give me results from anywhere on the clear net. I wanted Google to just provide me with results from the iz.ru website as that was my target location. For that, I had to specify in the search bar the website by adding a site two dots iz.ru with no space between the site two dots and the iz.ru. The full search term was 
all the words that we translated and then site two dots ic.ru below you can see how all the search results provided by google are from the ic.ru website you can see there all of them from this website that we put there the first link claimed to be an article published one day ago see here and since i was expecting a recent news article with a video i went with that one the news article I cannot read Russian, so I just use my very handy Google Translate Chrome extension to translate the entire page to English. The news piece said children's ombudsman Lova Belova brought more than a hundred orphans from the DPR to Russia and had the photo of the same lady we saw in the video. So you can see this is the article and you can see this is the photo and this is the video that we found. A quick Google search with the name Lova Belova provided extra evidence that this was the same person. Below we have a comparison between the woman seen in the Reddit video on the left with the photo at the top of the IZ News article about Ukrainian children being taken to Moscow on the right. In fact, if you kept scrolling the news article, you would see three videos. So let's show. There's one video, there's two videos, there's three videos. The first one where Miss Maria Lova Belova talked to the camera as seen on the Reddit footage, the second of the plane arriving with the children and the third of what looked like a press conference. The news article claimed that the group was comprised of 125 Ukrainian orphans between the ages of 3.5 and 17 years old, some disabled. According to the text, they were taken from the Donetsk People's Republic and flown to Moscow on an airplane by the Russian Airspace Force on September 16, 2022. They were allegedly given Russian citizenship and would be placed under guardianship of Russian families in the near future. Extra information. Out of pure curiosity, we could also check some of the footage details to confirm the information provided in the article and videos. The news piece claimed that Ukrainian children arrive on an airplane by the Russian airspace forces. Several clips from the second video provided useful details that confirmed that. You could see a couple of aircraft identifiers, such as the airplane model there, TU-154M, indicating that this was a Tupolev TU-154M aircraft, and the registration number was this one here, if you wanted to attempt to track it down. You could also see the children being greeted at the door by men in uniform. A Google image reverse search of the insignia on their arms revealed that this was indeed a patch worn by the Russian Air Force personnel. The answers. Now that I have found where the video clips originally came from, read the information on the news article and verify the content, I can answer the questions I had at the beginning to the best of my knowledge. Was this footage recent? Yes, it was from September 16, 2022. Were the children really Ukrainian? Yes, they were from the Donetsk region. Were they really orphans? Yes, allegedly. Were they really being taken to Russia? Yes, Moscow initially. Conclusion. This small search concluded that, unfortunately, it was true and orphan children were being taken from Ukrainian territory into Russia to be naturalized and adopted into Russian families. According to the article, many of the orphans had already been separated from their siblings. This was not the first group of children to be forcefully evacuated into Russian territory and, unfortunately, it would not be the last. Thank you for listening. Sophia.